Tests got underway this week at 120 sites worldwide on a vaccine developed by drug firms BioNTech, Pfizer, and China's Fosun Pharma. Another 89 sites in the United States are hosting tests on Moderna's vaccine. They're the last set of clinical trials before approval. Frank Ader leads the study at a Moderna site in New York. And once we get past this trial, um, we can move into the general public and actually mass producing and having this given to the population. Before that happens, though, these trials will gauge how well the vaccines work and how safe they are. Though new techniques helped get these shots ready in record time, officials say all the normal safety checks are in place. The tests that just started are a key part of that, says Vanderbilt University infectious disease doctor William Schaffner. These are new technology vaccines against a new virus in humans. We need to be very careful about that and look at vaccine safety very carefully. That information comes out of the large, we call them phase three trials. Those are the ones that are currently underway. Yeah, go ahead. Those phase three trials involve tens of thousands of patients to look for less common side effects. Scientists hope for results by the end of the year. Another vaccine in phase three comes from Oxford University and drug firm AstraZeneca. Like the Moderna and BioNTech vaccines, the Oxford shot triggered immune responses in early tests. But that's not enough, says Oxford's project lead, Sarah Gilbert. So we don't know how strong that immune response needs to be. So we can't say just by looking at the immune responses whether this is going to protect people or not. And the only way we're going to find out is by doing the large phase three trials. Even before those trials produce results, the British government has given companies millions of dollars and the U.S. government billions to manufacture the vaccines. That way, some doses will be ready right away if results are positive. Sandy Douglas is with the Oxford team. The vaccine may be available for people in some high-risk groups uh, in the UK by the end of the year, um, but it won't be made available to everybody uh, immediately. It's likely to be given to the people who have the most to benefit from it, the most to gain from it um, earliest, and then gradually uh, introduced for other people. U.S. health officials are also discussing who will get the limited supply of first doses, okay. likely beginning with healthcare workers. Two Chinese companies have vaccines in phase three testing in the United Arab Emirates and Brazil. At least 17 other vaccines are in earlier clinical tests around the world. Experts say more is better because different vaccines may work best for different groups of people. Steve Barragona, VOA News.